Welcome back to Mama Loves Manga and welcome back to Bad Lighting. <laughs> yeah. So in November, I was on a no-buy and I did pretty well. I managed to stay out of these manga buying streets for three weeks, but the week of Black Friday, I, I caved, okay, I caved. I saw that Right Stuff was having a major sale on Junji Ito's work. And listen, it was too good to pass up. When I tell you I saw the prices and I was like, I, I have to do it. I have to do it. I have to spend the money. I don't need that money. It's fine. We have other money in our bank account. And I got all of this. And they are all hardcover. And oh my gosh. So, some of y'all may not. Wow, this lighting is so terrible. Hold on. Ooh, baby. <laughs> the first title I ever read by him was um, Dissolving Classroom. I ended up talking about it in a video and I mentioned that while I didn't hate it, I was confused because it wasn't scary. I, I laughed. So at that point, I kind of thought that I kind of thought that his works were overrated. I didn't appreciate his work until I read Tomie. I loved this so much that I bought the physical copy for one of my cousins so that she could read it and I had planned on buying myself a physical copy eventually so when Right Stuff had their sale I was like this is the perfect time to get it. I'm so glad that I did. So other than Tomie and Dissolving Classroom I have not read any of his other works and because I don't know anything about them I'm going to read the back of the book to y'all. 13 chilling nightmares presented by the master of horror. Try not to be noticed when you eat the secret nectar otherwise you'll get smashed. What horrific events happened to create the earthbound? People tied to a certain place for the rest of their short lives. A strange haunted house comes to town but no one expects it to lead to a real hell. Welcome to Junji Ito's world, a world with no escape from endless nightmares. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Next up is Shiver, including nine of Junji Ito's best short stories as selected by the author himself and presented with accompanying notes and commentary. An arm peppered with tiny holes dangles from a sick girl's window. That actually grosses me out because I have, what's that phobia of like little tiny hole? Ugh. Like I don't like lotus pods, you know what I'm talking about? I hate them so much. I hate how they look. And I've watched a lot of like Asian horror movies where like people have seeds and stuff coming. I hate it. After an idol hangs herself, balloons bearing the faces of their destined victims appear in the sky. An amateur film crew hires an extremely individualistic fashion model and faces a real bloody ending. An offering of nine fresh nightmares for the delectation of horror fans. Okay, okay, okay. Next up is Fragments of Horror, an old wooden mansion that turns on its inhabitants. A dissection class with a most unusual subject. A funeral where the dead are definitely not laid to rest. Ranging from the terrifying to the comedic, from the erotic to the loathsome, these stories showcase Junji Ito's long-awaited return to the world of horror. The back, <laughs> the back cover. <laughs> why is this lady? Why is this lady over here screaming like that? And why is this lady over here naked on this pile of? Whatever that is. What, girl, what you doing? Next, I have Frankenstein. Junji Ito meets Mary Shelley. The master of horror manga bends all his skill into bringing the anguished and solitary monster and the fowler beast who created him to life with the brilliantly detailed chiaroscuro for which he is known. Also included are six tales of Oshikiri, a high school student who lives in a decaying mansion connected to a haunted parallel world. Uncanny doppelgangers, unfortunately murdered friends, and a whole lot more are in store for him. Bonus, the Ito family dog. 
thrill to the adventures of Non Non Ito, an adorable Maltese. Oh, I want to see the doggy. Next, I have Uzumaki Kuro Uzu Cho. A small fog-bound town on the coast of Japan is cursed. According to Shuichi Saito, the withdrawn boyfriend of teenager Kirie Goshima, their town is haunted not by a person or being, but a pattern. Uzumaki, the spiral, the hypnotic secret shape of the world. This bizarre masterpiece of horror manga is now available in a single volume. Fall into a whirlpool of terror. Okay, I've heard a lot of, like, people have really been excited about this one lately, and um, I'm intrigued, you know, um, hopefully it doesn't cause me to have a phobia. I already have enough phobias, y'all. Frogs and toads. I have, you know, low-key, just low-key I have agoraphobia. Let's, let's just be real. Anything that might be outside that can crawl on me, <laughs> I'm scared of it. Last but not least, I have Gyo. Let's read the back. The floating smell of death hangs over the island. What is it? A strange legged fish appears on the scene. So begins Tadashi and Kaori's spiral into the horror and stench of the sea. Here is the creepiest masterpiece of horror manga ever from the creator of Uzumaki, Junji Ito. Hold your breath until all is revealed. And then it says, <laughs> The tagline, something's rotten in Okinawa. <laughs> I'm very excited to read all of these. I mean, I'm sad that now my TBR is a little bit bigger, but I am i have no regrets. So I'm definitely going to be reading these soon. I'm gonna put these down, these are kind of heavy. So I did mention that I purchased a lot of things during Black Friday and the Cyber Monday week or whatever, um, but I'm going to split this up into multiple videos because, you know, I need the content. <laughs> I do think that sometimes hauls can be overwhelming when it's so much stuff, so I'm trying to keep each haul video separate and maybe have like a theme with them to make things a little bit easier for, um, y'all to consume. Stay tuned for the next video in which I share with you more of the things that I purchased because I have no self-restraint. I do want to say though, before anyone starts to feel bad about what they can and cannot buy, or before anyone wants to try to come at me about you know my spending and things like that, I do wanna say, y'all have no idea what's in my bank account. <laughs> So do not watch what I'm buying and feel like you need to, you know, try to catch up with me or anyone else for that matter. We all have different balances in our accounts. And also it's not like I have a whole lot of other hobbies. I mean, come on y'all. I'm at home all the time. I live in Oklahoma, in rural Oklahoma. So it's not like I'm leaving my house very often. So I'm not really spending a whole lot of money on like transportation cause I don't go nowhere. I'm not spending a whole lot of money on like going out to eat cause there ain't nowhere to eat in this town. <laughs> Except for the same couple of places and they'd be giving me discounts because I'd be going there so much and What else? You know, I don't have a whole lot of hobbies outside of dance and Manga stay within your own budget and shop sales on that note. I'm gonna go Sit down and read your manga. Bye <laughs>